Hi there. Thank you for joining us for this Spotlight Series segment from Actual Tech Media. I'm Scott Becker, a moderator and analyst with Actual Tech Media, and today I am joined by Stacey Hayes, who is co-founder and EVP of the Americas for Assured Data Protection. Stacey, thanks for being here today. Hey, Scott. Thank you for having me. It's a real honor and uh, quite a pleasure. Well, to start off with, Stacey, could you tell us a little about what Assured Data Protection does? We are a managed services provider. Um, so the services that we deliver are managed data protection um, and second site uh, redundancy for the data that we protect. And then we go one step further and, and deliver disaster recovery as a service. Um, we built our, our solutions around a particular uh, uh, vendor partner. They're called Rubric. Uh, located out in uh, Silicon Valley. Yeah, so there are a lot of data protection and, and disaster recovery solutions you know, out there today. Why did you all select Rubric Technologies for your solution? Really two reasons. Um, if you roll the company back all the way to our origins, we've been in business for the last, you know, for now working on seven years, uh, which you know, in, in the world of Rubric, which has been here for a little around 10, uh, kind of makes us the old men. Um, we saw two things that really that really caught our eye. The first was that we knew that they would be very disruptive in the uh, in the near term. Uh, the industry, if you roll back ten years, was dominated by four key players. Um, so, and it was, it was predominantly you know technology that had been around for a long time. We were all pretty we were all pretty familiar with it. Um, so when we took a look at the technology, we knew right away that they were going to disrupt what was a pretty static market. But just as important as that near-term disruption was really the emphasis that they had placed on what I like to call their second act. And it's really the tools that uh, were associated with the data protection platform around uh, data classification, data integrity, uh, and data security. Gotcha. It, you know, one of the, the data points that, that, you know, really resonates with me is that companies are being hit by malware and ransomware every 11 seconds. So it's obviously critical to have data protection, but why should people consider using a, a managed services provider for their disaster recovery? The answer there really has to do with core competency. Um, I call it the critical role. Uh, if you think about if you think about an institution, uh, let's take a law firm. Uh, a law firm's not a better law firm because they're great at data protection. However, if the law firm fails to protect its data and loses it, then it's out of the business of being a law firm. And so now in this environment that we operate in, where staffs are being cut, budgets are being reduced, Essentially, the, the rule of the land inside corporate IT is do more with less. Corporate IT is, is forced to essentially stack rank its, uh, its, its functions and then do a separation exercise around, are these things supportive of the mission or are they not? And things that are not supportive of the mission, but yet very critical, data protection, data recovery, as you mentioned, in the face of ransomware, these things are typically at the top. These are things that call for being outsourced. And that's why um, managed services is, is such a growing uh, segment of this market today. And now that makes a lot of sense. Um, so you've been in the industry for a long time. What's different today versus over the last decade when it comes to data protection and disaster recovery? I'll tell you what's uh, what's really um, disrupting the market today. Obviously, it's the topic on everyone's uh, on the tip of everyone's tongue. It's ransomware. It's it's malware. Um, this is um, th you know this is a, a, a an absolute scourge on the market, uh, and it is really um, again it itself disrupting um, the. Uh, the status of those players, uh, the, the phrase immutable, uh, you know, oftentimes misused in the marketplace is, is a true table stakes um, uh, capability uh, now as it relates to data protection. 
But beyond that, uh, the presence of the, the data, uh, data integrity, uh, data sovereignty, uh, and data protection laws. Uh, you know, we see, we see a lot of these. We see uh, uh, laws uh, in Europe uh, that are now being adopted in, in North America. Uh, we see uh, individual states um, in, in adopting different types of laws. And that's the great thing about this country, right? Uh, it's really 50 different places. Uh, and so you've got the potential, you got the, the, the potential for 50 different sets of rules. And so um, those two things, obviously ransomware, uh, you know, very, very relevant, but, but the thing that is probably sleeping right underneath that surface is these, uh, these uh, data, these, these data integrity laws that we start to see uh, surfacing. And so now more than ever before, this function that you know, if you think about it, tend to be tended to be you know kind of pushed down to the to the lower rungs. The first person in in the environment, you know, or the last person hired was the one that was assigned the responsibility of monitoring and care and feeding of these these platforms. That's now no longer acceptable. Um, there's high turnover there, uh, and there's a there's a skill gap uh, that that exists that because everything's moving so fast, and so. The again, this calls for uh, back to that previous question. You know why why outsource this? Why why turn to a managed services provider? That's that's a big reason there. The other thing that is new in this environment now is 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 insurance. Uh, typically, because of those things, so now liability is increased. Um, cyber insurance is much harder to come by because of the effects of ransomware. And so now what we see are third parties, either audit firms or insurance firms that are requiring our customers to, to produce uh, defendable, uh, drillable, demonstrable evidence of compliance. And having that outside outsourced to someone like Assured Data Protection or DR as a service and really, we call it now cyber recovery as a service because most of our DR declarations now are not in response to a disaster. They're not in response to a fire or a cable cut or, or a natural disaster like a storm. They're in response to a ransomware attack. And so we are, we're in a constant state of, of recovery now. We have been for the last 24 months, uh, and I don't see that ending. So all of those all of those things tend to you know tend to pile up in an IT environment and as i mentioned earlier they've got other things that they need to be focusing on that are more mission supportive to what the actual company is trying to achieve and so reaching out to a company like ours you know we have that ability to give them those two drills per year uh, a, a lot of documentation around not only the results of those drills but also other things that are associated with compliance. We've created, we literally created a compliance dashboard that will allow very, in a very secure fashion, a third party to reach in and verify that, uh, that, you know, that a certain uh, subsystem has been protected on this date, you know, with the ability to generate a report. So, so there's a lot happening right now that, that definitely wasn't happening two, three years ago. Yeah, I think you really hit on it. You know, just that that you know the three things: ransomware, the data integrity laws, and then you know just the the proliferation of you know insurance and that requirement. That's you know really well said. So from what I've learned here, you know, assured data protection could help so many companies with that you know managed service around this. Um, you know, what's the next step that people should take to get started with uh, assured data protection? Well, Scott, you know, we got a great website. Um, uh, I'm always proud of those. I think you got it there. There you go. Um, you know, just reach out to us. Um, I, I think, you know, obviously there's a lot of people that are, you know, that are either currently using rubric today or are evaluating what their what their their position is vis-a-vis uh, -vis their current solution if, if it's if it's not rubric. And in any case, uh, we are, you know, we're journeymen in this space. Our, our knowledge of, of data protection is as deep as it gets. Um, you know, very simply, reach out, talk to us, talk to our team. We'll definitely give you a, a different perspective 
on things that you need to consider when you're evaluating your current posture today and where you go in the future as it relates to data protection. Okay. Well, Stacey Hayes, thanks so much for being here and giving us this overview of Assured Data Protection. And thanks to everyone for listening in today. If you'd like to see more Spotlight series interviews like this one, head over to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash actualtechmedia. Thanks for joining us.